Another Kobe update. Uh, this was just uh, published and updated and just updated recently. So that's about 18 minutes ago from the time I got here. Kobe, all publicly funded schools in Ontario closing for two weeks due to COVID-19. Again, the Ontario government has ordered all publicly funded schools to be shut down for two weeks after March break due to the concerns about Kobe. <laughs> Again, so... Now, March break is, is here, so they're going to close, and then they're going to probably extend that a bit longer to see how things pan out. I think we're going to be like Italy, but worse because of the amount of traffic that was coming in from the infected nations. Like Donald Trump was saying how Europe uh, or traveling to Europe is banned because of – minus the UK – because of the, the mismanagement of, of, of how this was – Tr uh, taking care of in Europe and I know Canada didn't do much but hand out flyers to people at the airport so I'm not sure if what the US is going to do with Canada but let's get back to this since we first learned that COVID-19 ha as an emergency public health issue, Ontario has been diligently monitoring the development and situation to protect the health and well-being of Ontarians. A just statement from Prime Minister Doug Ford, from sorry, Premier Doug Ford, Health Minister Christine Elliott, Education Minister Stephen Lace said Thursday afternoon, which is right now, based on the advice from Dr. David Williams, Ontario's Chief Medical Officer and Health and Experts, at the COVID-19 command table, the Minister of Education has issued minist uh, ministerial order to close all publicly funded schools in Ontario for two weeks following March break in response to the emer uh, emergence in Ontario of COVID-19. Schools will still be open on Friday. The order closing schools until April 5th will take effect this Saturday. Uh, the announcement comes hours after the province announced the largest single-day spike in confirmed cases of COVID-19. Of Thursday morning, there were 59 confirmed cases. So, guys, I wanted to throw this out there. This was sent to me by somebody uh, who follows me on Facebook. It keeps keep, keeping me up to date on what's happening and where it's happening. I really appreciate that, um, uh, Tyler. So, anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think. School closures. Guys, this, this guys, again... Prepare. Be safe. Okay. Avoid big crowds. Wash your hands. Um, just, just you know, try and keep it as kosher as possible when it comes to cleanliness, right? Cleanliness is godliness, right? Just take care of 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 your family. Take care of what needs to be taken care of. Okay. It's time for for everyone to start manning up here and really start to take it by the reins and start to really um be cautious aware prepared um and there's nothing to worry if you're prepared right like uh uh, uh someone said uh, uh in a classroom once sir is this test going to be hard well if you paid attention in class it won't be that hard right it'll just be what you learned so the same thing with that if you've prepared you have your bug out bag you have things prepared, ready to go. If you live in a condo, maybe you have a friend in a house you could stay with that's not uh, connected to each other in condo in a condo situation. Um, just be cautious. Uh, guys, if you can't find hand sanitizer like this, I recommend something for you guys to do. Go buy rubbing alcohol, 90, 80, 90 proof, and mix it with hand soap. Uh, you know, especially if you have bottles halfway in the house of hand soap, these pump-style pump hand soaps, grab the rubbing alcohol, pour it inside, like to the top, uh, just fill it to the rim, shake it. It's going to be watery, but at least the rubbing alcohol will create uh, a form of, of disinfectant, right? Uh, don't forget to bleach the bottom of your shoes when you arrive home. Uh, if you can have maybe a soaked rug or a soaked mat outside your house with a bit of bleach on it, make sure you put it or leave your shoes outside, guys. So... And especially if you're working like me, I'm in the retail sector for, for as long as I could be until it gets that bad where I'm just going to have to cut off communication with everybody else and stay home with the family. I recommend when you arrive home, please uh, remove your clothing. Put it right in the, in the washing machine. Do not, do not uh, uh, track it through the house. And then shower properly, especially if you're dealing with a lot of clients and customers and stuff and you're uh, shaking hands and stuff which you shouldn't be, but still, take care of all that stuff, guys. Please, take care of yourselves. Be cautious, okay? It doesn't hurt to be cautious, right? So just, just be cautious. Keep your eye open. Keep your eye, stay in the light, you know, and keep your target in sight. 
Let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Thanks for watching.